liberal girls, if you want to be oppressed so bad, go ahead and move to the Middle East. If you love socialism so much, go move to Venezuela. If you love communism, go to China. Let's see how you like it. But go ahead and get the f out of here before you ruin our country too. Thanks, babe. Not all pick me girls are Trump supporters, but all female Trump supporters are pick me girls. Well, hey there, hun. Female Trump supporter here, or what you might refer to as a pick me girl. Now I'm very curious to know what upsets you the most. Is it that men might be more attracted to and have more in common with women whose political beliefs don't sh on them? Or is it simply the fact that you don't agree with us? Either way, I do find it comical that the petty name calling is coming from the side that supports all women. Or should I say, supports all women who agree with them. Fuck us Trumpies, right? I am sorry that us Trump girls make you so upset, but being called a pick me doesn't hurt my feelings. In my experience, girls who call other girls pick me's are the ones who have trouble getting picked. And jealousy doesn't look good on anyone. Hope this helps. Let's talk for just a minute about the attack on masculinity that is occurring in this country. First of all, let's lay down the basic facts. Men tend to be more assertive. They tend to be more aggressive. They tend to have a little bit more unbridled ambition than us ladies. Sorry to tell ya. <laughs> they tend to be a little bit more possessive. They tend to be a little bit more independent. That's just true. And these are not westernized ideas of men. They are traits that are innate and have been seen throughout human history. History, you say? Oh my goodness. But now instead of recognizing these distinctions and giving young men in particular very healthy avenues of which to harness these traits, we are calling them toxic and saying we should raise boys and girls the same. Huh? And it's a disservice to the young people of this country. And we'll talk more about the feminine side of that later, but yeah, teach men to be men. It's that simple. The internalized misogyny! Is it because I don't support when women use their mouths and objectify themselves to climb their way up? Is it because I believe that women have brains and can actually do better? I'm not here to tear these girls down. If they are happy with themselves and how they look, then that's awesome. Body positivity comes in all shapes and sizes. I'm simply here to talk about the bias on TikTok and that TikTok is showing our youth that that is okay. Those girls can be in a bikini, but if someone is fit and fabulous in a bikini, then it violates community guidelines for sexual content and nudity. So you are showing our youth that the only way to be positive about your body is to be overweight and unhealthy because it would be wrong for you to cancel those girls. But you have to cancel anyone who looks good in a bikini because they must be promoting sexuality, not health, not fitness. It's not okay. Do better, TikTok. Questions make liberals shut up, part two. If women get paid less than men, why wouldn't businesses only hire women? No! No! The feminists are back at it. But I just got Botox, so I cannot show you how sad I am. But I am so sad. First, the feminists said that we have to get jobs to be equal. But I don't want to be equal. Why be equal when you could be superior? Anyway, I heard the feminists say that objectification was a bad thing. Motherfucker, don't you know that objects don't pay taxes? Objects don't pay bills! Objects don't pay for healthcare! Have you seen the state of the healthcare system? It's in shambles! I think the government should maybe just pay us for being women. Why is that so stupid to comprehend? Did you not know that one in five women are to be assaulted in their lifetime? All I'm going to say is that I'm not going to take any chances. I will stay home where I'm safe. <laughs> Thank you. So a common comment that I get is that a woman can defend herself in more ways than using just a firearm. And you're right, as she should. But if you were to eliminate, if you were to try to eliminate all the firearms in the world, you still wouldn't be reducing the number of violent people in the world. Now, would you be reducing the number of ways that violent people can be violent? Maybe but you would certainly be reducing the number of ways a woman can defend herself against 
those violent people. Now, another common comment that I get is that, chill, no one's trying to take your guns. And that might be true, but the men, because it is only men that do this, that comment and wish violence against me or threaten me because of my belief in the Second Amendment further solidifies my stance in defending it. Tell me, how is your life as a youngster? Met my first love at 18. Married him at 19. Bought our first home at 23. Started our family at 20 for 225. And built a beautiful tradition. Can we talk about how absolutely hypocritical feminism is for a second? Feminism is all about women empowerment. Women belong anywhere that they want to be. There is no place that a woman doesn't belong. But the second a woman tells you that where she wants to be is at the house with her children or making dinner for her husband, how dare she? She's a step back for womankind as a whole. Well, that's not very feminist of you. I thought your whole mission was equality for women. Now we're gonna treat them like less because they have a different opinion than you? Makes sense, right? I also can't wrap my mind around the fact that feminism is the farthest thing from true femininity ever. It ends up stripping you of everything that makes you feminine. By defeminizing women, you are essentially saying that we are not going to be as good as men unless we If you don't like abortions, don't get one. Mind your own business. Oh, well, yeah, if that's the case, if you don't like guns, don't get a gun. If you don't want to get pregnant, don't have sex in the first place. The right for life triumphs bodily autonomy. My body, my choice. That sounds... Great. Um, is it cool if I get tan this summer, though? Oh, okay. Um, can I wear braids? Are braids okay? No? no. What about this mask that I'm forced to wear on my body? Is that, oh, that's not my choice? Okay. So, very selective to only killing human beings. Gotcha. First super dumbass thing I've seen of 2021. Democrats, in their prayer, said a man and a woman a man has nothing to do with men just means so be it so i guess uh history is no longer gonna be a thing next thing you're gonna ask people they're gonna be measuring in her story and people are no longer gonna be speaking hebrew they will be speaking shebrew so i saw this on google i thought did i sleep too long is it already april 1st is this a joke nope just Democrats being Democrats. So if you haven't been living under a rock, you probably know that most of our society is completely brainwashed, especially our youth. And this is due to a mass indoctrination for media, academia, and almost every single other aspect of our lives to push liberalism and very far left-wing views on our entire society and youth. And over the last four years, especially during Trump's presidency, we've seen a massive uprise in hate from the left. These are some of the cruelest people you've ever seen and they're multiplying like flies. Just look at the difference in how the left treats the right and how the right treats the left. The left is normalizing things that would have our founding fathers rolling in their graves. From patriotism being a bad thing, to your four-year-old daughter can go in the men's restroom legally, to only one race can be racist to another, to supporting your president is bad, to anyone opposing the mainstream agenda is a fascist, to women don't need husbands because the government will supply, to taking the life of an innocent child inside of you is healthcare, Like this is that. your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, and, that's, and, that's, him. and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. I 
know, if I wanted my life to be easy, I would just fake being a liberal. TikTok permanently banned me from the creator fund, which means I can no longer make money off my videos. It also means the hundreds of dollars that I've already made, I can no longer access. In case you were unaware, someone stating things that you don't agree with doesn't automatically mean they broke a guideline, but apparently we can't have diversity of thought in this damn country anymore. These apps are so hypersexualized. You have 15 year old girls twerking half naked, liberals telling conservatives to kill themselves, creators from other countries bullying Americans for reasons, I don't know, maybe focus on your own country's politics for once. But God forbid we say anything about women and periods or that our troops were mistreated or that we love Jesus, it gets taken down. The left controls everything. And let me tell you, it is not a good look when you continue to silence those that tell the truth and lock yourselves in your own echo chamber because you can't handle differing viewpoints. You cannot report everything that hurts your feelings for the rest of your life. Learn to grow up and comprehend that people think differently. That is a reason why this country was so great. Freedom to have your own opinions. Let's get back to that.